Very good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Wednesday, the 15th of December, 2021. Evening prayer begins with our prayers of preparation. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness, do you be praise and glory for ever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. <clears throat> and the um, office hymn for this evening is Come Thou Redeemer of the Earth. Come, thou Redeemer of the earth, and manifest thy virgin birth. Let every age adoring for such birth befits the God of all. Begotten of no human will, but of the Spirit, Thou art still the Word of God, in flesh arrayed, the Saviour now to us displayed. <clears throat> From God the Father he proceeds, to God the Father pack he speeds, runs out his course to death and hell, returns on God's high throne to dwell. O equal to the Father thou, gird on thy fleshly mantle, and weakness of a mortal state with deathless might invigorate. Thy cradle here shall glitter bright, and darkness glow with newborn light. No more shall night extinguish day, where love's bright beams their power display. O Jesus, virgin born, to thee eternal praise and glory be, whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Spirit evermore. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and for ever. Amen. <clears throat> and our psalm, first psalm, is Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I put my trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies triumph overly. Let none who look to you be put to shame. But let the treacherous be shamed and frustrated. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I have hoped all the day long. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions, but think on me in your goodness, O Lord, according to your steadfast love. Gracious and upright is the Lord, therefore shall he teach sinners in the way. He will guide the humble in doing right and teach his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, be merciful to my sin, for it is great. Who are those who fear the Lord? Them will he teach in the way that he should choose. Their soul shall dwell at ease, and their offspring shall inherit the land. 
The hidden purpose of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am alone and brought very low. The sorrows of my heart have increased, O bring me out of my distress. Look upon my adversity and misery, and forgive me all my sin. Look upon my enemies, for they are many, and they bear a violent hatred against me. O keep my soul and deliver me, let me not be put to shame, for I have put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And Psalm 82. God has taken his stand in the council of heaven, in the midst of the gods he gave judgment. How long will you judge unjustly, and show such favour to the wicked? You were to judge the weak and the orphan, rescue the right of the humble and needy. Rescue the weak and the poor, deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They have no knowledge or wisdom. They walk on still in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Therefore I say that though you are gods and all of you children of the Most High, nevertheless you shall die like mortals and fall like one of their princes. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for it is you that shall take all nations for your possession. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And a reading from the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 51, beginning at verse 1. Listen to me, you that pursue righteousness, you that seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn, and to the quarry from which you were dug. Look to Abraham your father, and to Sarah who bore you. For he was but one when I called him, and I blessed him and made him many. For the Lord will comfort Zion, he will comfort all her waste places, and will make her wilderness like Eden, her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found in her, thanksgiving and the voice of song. Listen to me, my people, and give heed to me, my nation, for a teaching will go out from me, and my justice for a light to the peoples. I will bring near my deliverance swiftly, and my salvation has gone out, and my arm will rule the peoples. The coastlands wait for me, and for my arm they hope. Look up, lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look at the earth beneath. For the heavens will vanish like smoke, the earth will wear out like a garment, and those who live in it will die like gnats. But my salvation will be for ever, and my deliverance will never be ended. Listen to me, you who know righteousness, you people who have my teaching in your hearts. Do not fear the reproach of others, and do not be dismayed when they revile you. For the moth will eat them up like a garment, and the worm will eat them like wool. But my deliverance will be for ever, and my salvation to all generations. Here ends the first reading. <clears throat> and a song of the Spirit. Surely I am coming soon, amen, come, Lord Jesus. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord, and bringing my reward with me, to give to everyone according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter into the city through the gates. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you with this testimony for all the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the bright morning star. Come, say the Spirit and the bride. Come, let each hear a reply. Come forward, you who are thirsty. Let those who desire take the water of life as a gift. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. And a reading from St Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians, beginning at chapter 1. Paul, Silvanus and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians, in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We must always give thanks to God 
for you, brothers and sisters, as is right, because your faith is growing abundantly and the love of every one of you for one another is increasing. Therefore, we ourselves boast of you amongst the churches of God for your steadfastness and your faith throughout all your persecutions and the afflictions that you are enduring. This is evidence of the righteous judgment of God and in, is intended to make you worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are also suffering. It is indeed just of God to replay with affliction those who afflict you and to give relief to the afflicted as well as to us. When the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, inflicting vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. These will suffer the punishment of eternal destruction, separated from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his might, when he comes to be glorified by his saints and to be marvelled at on that day amongst those who believe, because our testimony to you was believed. And to this end we always pray for you, asking that our God will make you worthy of his call and will fulfil by his power every good resolve and work of faith, so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. And our responsory. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. And the Magnificat. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. And so we come now to our prayers of intercession. As we pray for the Church throughout the world, we pray today for the Diocese of Ikeduru in the Anglican Church of Nigeria and in the province of Oweri. We're praying at the moment in the Diocesan Cycle of Prayer for the Brina Moor Mission area, praying especially today for the community of St. Michael Trelaunid, David Lewis, the priest in charge, for Gregor Lachman Wadal, the curate. We remember St. Michael's in Trelaunid as it considers a new role as a pilgrim church and we pray for a deepening of links with the community there. We pray as always for Gregory our Bishop, praying for him at this time, praying also for Andy the Archdeacon of St. Asaph and praying for Archbishop Andrew as he begins his ministry as Archbishop of Wales. We pray too for those who are in particular need of our prayers. We pray for all those who continue to work with the vaccine programme, for Colin and all those in nursing and residential care, and for Daniel and all who are in prison. We pray for those who are sick amongst them, Louise, Derek, Gordon, Harry, Dot, Peter, Joshua, Bob, Alison, Maldwin, Roy, Mark, Carol, Barbara, Anne, Bob, Doreen, Alan and Paul. And we continue to pray for the faithful departed, among them Doreen. Watchful at all times, let us pray for strength to stand with confidence before our Maker and Redeemer, that God may bring in his kingdom with justice and mercy. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, that God may establish among the nations his scepter of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, that we may seek Christ in the scriptures and recognise him in the breaking of the brand. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, that God may bind up the brokenhearted, restore the sick and raise up all who have fallen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, that the light of Christ's coming may dawn on all who live in darkness and the shadow of death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, that with all the saints in light we may shine as lights for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us commend the world which Christ will judge to the mercy and protection of God. O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. For you are alive and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. When the Lord, may the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much for joining me once again this evening. Would you a very happy evening indeed. <laughs>